Hello, welcome back to the channel. Um, this video today is a bit of an unprepared video. Um, but it's this video is going to cover the um, oil pressure sensor. Um, I bought a new one. So I'm going to replace it anyway. Um, but I'm going to do a quick test because the other day my... Um, light kept coming on let me turn the ignition on the red light like once you start it okay you see how it went off the other day it wasn't going off it was staying on but then for some reason it started going off again um, and then like, without complicating it, the other day it went off, went to do the MOT and on the way back it was off for the first about six miles and then it came back on again. So I suspect my um, sensor's gone a bit faulty. So I'm going to change it anyway. So what you want to do when you want to change this is, I'm trying to do this so you can see, pull this cap off. As you pull the cap off. Um, it's like a little clip. So you just pull that out. So you pull that off. And you get a 22mm ring spanner on that. Just crack it open. Just take that out. Right, you have to bear with me with this next bit of the video. Um, right, there's a replacement one. Like I say, it is a proper, um, a proper Aprilia one. So what you do to test it, put it onto continuity. I don't know if that's picking it up on the camera. Yeah, onto, onto continuity. Turn it on so you get a sound. Um, there we go. So the old one. Put your connector on the top and put your connector on the E. So that's <laughs> see as I blow into it, <laughs> it's not shutting off. <laughs> what do you need for that one? Um, get some pressure always there. So it looks like my sensor might be working. A bit difficult to do. It's going to get a bit loud. This is now. So the new one's definitely working. It's quite hard to simulate that was. Um, the old one. Make sure you don't forget to put this washer on. So the crush washer. Put that on. It's a bit of a tight fit. See if I can simulate this one. So 
So I'm hoping I haven't got a real issue with the uh, pump. It has gone dodgy ladders. I don't know if you've seen that then. I was putting like 45 PSI into there and it was still it was still having continuity, so it wasn't opening the switch. Um so yeah, that's it pretty much. All you do is just get your new one. Chuck that one away. So I'll just chuck this bit on the end because um, it wasn't very really clear. Uh, when you're testing your sensor, um, how it works, the connectors together, when there's no pressure, it holds it together, so you get continuity. So when you put the pump on it and it puts pressure into it, it opens the switch. So then when you've got your, um, your test on the bottom and the top, it breaks the connection, so you don't get continuity. And that's how it registers um, a certain pressure. I just thought I'd add that on the end because um, I didn't really say it. So yeah, if you want to test your, if you're getting that red light on the dashboard and then you want to test it, get your sensor out, put your um, continuity on the top and the bottom. And then, like I say, put some pressure through it and then it should um, open the switch and you'll lose continuity. Okay, thanks a lot. So yeah, just put your new one in, tighten it down, just nip it up. Um, Look in the books to see what the torque setting is. I'll just usually tighten it down and then just nip it and then put the um, put the cable back on. Anyway, thanks for watching. Till next time. Bye.